What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, today we're going to do two things. Uh, we're going to go get these tires and wheels mounted for the Bronco, which I honestly haven't touched in like two months. And I'm also going to give you guys my, uh, I guess I've had this bed liner paint job on here for about three years. Um, pretty much three years now. So I'm going to give you guys my, I guess, three year update on whether I think you should still do one or, or if you should uh, not do one. So we'll do that later in the video. Um, I mean, well, mounting these tires, I'm just going to drop them off today. They probably, they're going to have me drop them off and probably pick them up tomorrow. So we probably won't be able to see what they're going to look like mounted on there until uh, tomorrow. But um, I'll give you guys my, you know, I'll pretty much show you all the little problem areas on the truck. Um, just for those of you that have, that are considering a bed liner paint job and you don't know, uh, you know, you've heard a lot of bad things about it or whatever else. I'll show you how my experience has gone uh so far so yeah let's go and uh drop these tires off and then we'll talk a little bit about bed liner paint jobs oh. and you know i don't think i ever actually showed you guys what these uh what these wheels look like so i might as well do that now in case you don't follow my instagram uh because i posted pics of them on there like a long time ago but i'll get one of these out and i'll show you so that's just a little sneak peek U.S. Indie Mags, I think they're a negative 50 offset, so that's all you get for now. Alright, so the wheels and tires are dropped off. They said they'd probably, they'd probably end up calling me, I don't know, at the end of the day. I might go pick them up tomorrow, though, because they close at 5 o'clock, so. Um, yeah, I might, I might go pick those up tomorrow, so those might be in a different, a different video, but... Anyway, let's talk about some bed liner paint jobs. Um, first, I'll kind of go over, um, I don't know, if, you're, if you've never done one before and you, you kind of want to know how to do it, I'll kind of explain how to do it real quick. Um, tell you what product I used and stuff like that. That I'll show you every little imperfection, whatever else. I'll just pick my truck all apart and then we'll circle back around. I'll tell you guys if, I, uh, if after three years I recommend you guys doing one for yourselves. All right, so starting off with kind of how to do it, um, just real quick. We, this truck, uh, you know, it was obviously, it was painted before this. Um, and if, you, if you're new, you know, it's kind of dirty in there, but you can see the truck was pink before. So we pretty much just used 180 grit sandpaper, sanded the whole thing down. Um, and then we ended up spraying this, this product that we used here was the SEM, S-E-M rocket liner. Um, I guess it's, it's similar to like Raptor liner or whatever else people normally use Raptor liner I, I haven't seen anyone that's used the uh, the SEM product um, That I used like you know in any videos or anything like that everybody else is pretty much using Raptor liner um, And I believe that we sprayed this on at probably I don't know somewhere between 150 and 180 PSI something like that you, you'd have to test it out when you go to do it for yourself pretty much the higher uh, PSI that you spray it at the more textured it becomes so this I think was sprayed at like a like uh, I don't know like a lower PSI before we kind of had had it dialed in and figured out and you can see it's kind of smoother uh, Than the rest of it. It's kind of it's got a different It's got a little bit of a little bit of a different texture too, and it's actually kind of shinier because of that it kind of it just went on smoother um, But I think the rest of it was closer to Maybe 150. I don't exactly remember you'll have to you have to try that out for yourself, but that's pretty much how we did it. Just 180 grit sandpaper, sand it all down, um, kind of get through the clear coat and stuff. You don't got to go down to bare metal. You can spray it over paint. Um, you know, you don't got to you don't got to completely strip it to put this stuff on. It it adheres pretty well to a, a painted surface. You just kind of got to got to get all the clear coat off. Um, that's just a really quick rundown on uh, how we did it, I suppose. All right, so now for the part of the video that you guys clicked on it for all of the issues that I've had. Now, this is not a complaining video, okay? I'm not I'm not complaining about it. This is me showing you, if you want to do this, what you might end up with a couple of years down the road when it comes to problems. Um, and kind of like anything else, like, you know, you go and you paint a car and you let it sit for 10 years or whatever. Like, ten, like a 10-year-old paint job, you know, obviously you're going to have some... Some things that happen to it, cracks, scratches, whatever else. Um, and it's kind of the same with bed liner, 
but there's a couple a couple extra things that kind of probably wouldn't happen uh with paint so number one okay a lot of people ask me all the time does the color fade at all in the sun or is it uh does it kind of hold its color i haven't noticed any fading at all um i mean maybe the hood a tiny bit but it's also in direct sunlight right now if it's not in direct sunlight you can't you can't really tell so i'd say that it over the last three years i haven't had any issues with the with the color fading at all and it still has kind of its uh you can see it's still got its shine so you know none of that um went away so i'd say i have there's no noticeable fading at all um it just kind of looks like it because the the hood's in I don't know, it's on a different plane there, so <laughs> it looks a little different, but um, when it comes to one of the biggest things that I was kind of worried about when putting this on was whether it was going to start cracking after a while, and I made a video a while ago saying, you know, like, it was kind of just like a big joke video, um, but saying that I hadn't noticed any cracking or anything like that. Recently, within the last couple months, I have noticed some cracking and I'll show you that right now um, right here okay let's see you guys can probably see this there's a crack here all right and there's a bigger crack right here and I can kind of catch it with my finger as well right here so I've got this crack here all right and that's really the only um, spot where it's where it's kind of cracked there's other areas where like around the back wheel wells they're pretty okay um, when you look up at the front wheel wells, though, uh, you can see it's chipped off a little bit here, kind of, well, you can see, like, the paint was kind of chipping off, because this is the bed liner stuck to the paint right here, and I, and I can chip the paint off. It looks like it's actually starting to rust a little bit there, so that's happening. Um, let's see. There's really not any like kind of the it's really the main problem area is the wheel wells um but only in the front so i i you know on obviously that's that's uh you know operator error i suppose i should have you can see i can just peel it right off right there and actually yeah that is starting to i bet you that's gonna rust through soon i've got to actually address that yeah so that's, that's just kind of a prep issue i really should have prepped this these front wheel wells better the, the other one is actually pretty much the same as this one um you can see I, I actually did already kind of fix this side i just kind of put some uh i cut the rust out and put you know some paint and stuff on there so that it wouldn't so that it wouldn't rust and you can't see that if you're looking at it from here so normal people you know they're not going to notice that but it is something that's kind of you know a little bit annoying so but it won't it shouldn't rust any further because I, I really filled that up i don't remember what i used but it was uh it wasn't just regular paint it was like some other like i don't know por or some crap like that um i've got to do that to the other side as well but right here all right on the doors you see we got some crack in here this is this is actually probably new and you can see kind of how thick we sprayed the bed liner on also it was kind of I think we did like four coats of the stuff so four light coats you don't just want to like hammer it on um you kind of want to do four light dusting coats so that you get like the, the texture and everything um but yeah you can see it's, it's it's chipping over here probably because this door um i don't know it might not be exactly aligned perfect so it's so it's this part's hitting on this part um the door is hitting on the fender here a little bit you don't notice it but yeah, it, did, it does make it a little bit thicker, so you could have issues like that happening. Um, it's not happening on the other door, it's only happening on this one. Um, some more issues where I should have prepped it better, all right? You, well, the sun's in your face right there. But you can see I went over and I sprayed uh, some of these issues. This one, I these I didn't. This is kind of, you can, you can just see it's kind of chipping off around the bottom, all right? Which again would be a prep issue. I should have prepped that better. Uh, so if you're going to do this for yourself, do not neglect here, <laughs> like the undersides. Do not neglect that. I think this was actually from a piece of tape. Um, but yeah, if you're going to do this, just make sure above everything else 
that you you spend extra time with the bottoms of your you know the bottoms of your truck like your rocker panels and whatever the hell else because those are really my biggest issues that I've had with it a lot of people ask me about these stickers uh, I put these decals on uh, kind of like a couple days maybe it was a couple days after we painted the truck they ask how they're holding up they're holding up pretty well um, you can see they're kind of getting a little bit dirty around the edges and some of the uh, some of the vinyl sticker, I guess, is coming off from uh, from washing it. Some of the black part. So they've been on there for like three years now. This one, you can see, it's kind of getting a little dirty behind there. But you know, because because in order to get these on, it's not like normal paint. You can't just kind of slap it on and have it be there forever. It kind of I, I end up using a heat gun and pressing it into all the little bumps and everything. Because um, you know, if you just try to stick a sticker onto this texture. It's not going to stick, so I used a heat gun, and I have a video on that, but yeah, that's the update on those. So if you guys are researching bed liner paint jobs, one of the things that you're going to hear probably most often is how um, horrible they are to keep clean. And I agree with that, and I probably wouldn't do another bright color maybe again, um, only because of stuff like this. All right, you can see, I should really get stainless steel hardware for this, but... I get streaks coming down and I also get actual just like random streaks like you can't see it because it's it's probably not going to pick it up on camera um but I, I I sometimes do get streaks from just random areas just down the side of the truck that are kind of a pain to clean off um you can't see them when you're standing back like this far and if it's in direct sunlight you can't see it either but it's just one of those things that uh you kind of need to stay on top of it so one of the things I haven't done it in a while uh, but one of the things that I found that actually kind of helped prevent that was, uh, like, spray-on ceramic coatings. Um, the one that I used, you know, I might have the bottle right here. So I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, they actually, actually they last quite a while, but it's one of these, you know, just spray-on ceramic coating kind of deals. All right, so the other thing you're going to hear a lot if you're, you know, looking into bed liner paint jobs is that they can hold water and at the beginning i was like you know that doesn't doesn't really sound very truthful you know whatever i actually did end up having a spot right here okay and it could be because my my old tires used to rub and dented the fender in and you can see it chipped off all the liner here um this right here this area ended up holding some water in it and it was kind of like a bubble and in the right sunlight you can you can see it you can't really see it right now and there's actually you know, there's no water in it right now, but um, I ended up taking a pin and kind of poking it and draining all the water out, and, uh, and then I ceramic coated over it, hoping to keep the water out. But it's uh, it's one of those spots where somehow water got in there and it got in between the liner and the the paint underneath it. So this is probably going to rust out um, faster than well, you know, probably this whole fender is probably going to end up rusting out faster than anything else. But this spot specifically, because somehow water got, somehow water got in there. So that kind of goes back to all of your edges, all your wheel wells, all of that stuff. Prep the shit out of it because you don't want issues like this, and you don't want issues like I'm having up here. So definitely prep it very well. <laughs> or maybe even I don't know if there's some kind of like adhesion promoter or something like that you can use. Like I don't know the stuff they use for vinyl wraps maybe to make it stick around the edges i don't know how that would work with bedliner but um if you guys have any ideas for the other people that are maybe thinking about doing a bedliner paint job about ways to get it to stick better around the edges i don't have issues you know like like on the bigger panels because there's really no way for water to get behind it because they're not next to an edge but yeah just uh around the wheel wells i'd be i'd be especially careful so that's really most of the issues that I've had, just, you know, keeping it clean, whatever else. Um, you can see, I kind of use this, you can see this ring right here. This is actually a better example of what happens if you don't clean it often, because um, I don't really clean underneath this here. I kind of just use it as an indicator of how bad the bed liner would look if I didn't wash it. And you can see, if you don't, you know, if you're not up on top of cleaning it, that's probably never going to end up coming out. You can see the, you can kind of see a little bit of a color difference also, right here in the center where it never gets any sun. 
it is you probably can't see it on, on the camera but it's slightly brighter of a color and this is kind of I don't know it does kind of look faded now that I'm looking at it it does it does look a little bit faded you can't really tell and you can also see these kind of little spider cracks up here on the roof where it's always exposed to the sun because this truck stays out in the driveway here like it's never been in a garage so this is always getting hit by the sun so you know it does actually look it does actually look a little bit faded up here on the roof and you can see there are, there are a little let's see if i can get this to focus maybe there are little spider cracks um throughout the roof so all right so i've told you how to put it on i've showed you all of the things that i probably should have done different or that i should have done better or just the issues that i've had with it um now we're going to talk about if i recommend you guys doing one of these for yourselves so i guess a good place to start with that is if i personally would ever do another bed liner paint job the answer to that is no um it's kind of i don't know it's it, it's kind it's kind of like a double-edged sword really because like you know there's all the issues that i went over about how it's hard to keep clean but the thing is if you don't clean it all right you don't see you don't really see like the dirt and stuff on it like this this truck's been over here on my black truck you can see it looks pretty dirty like it looks pretty dirty <laughs> like it's got dust you can see all the dust and everything you don't see that on a bed liner paint job um until it really starts building up i probably i probably washed this truck maybe two weeks ago and then i drove it all the way to new york uh which is like a 212 mile round trip and then i drove it all the way back and i haven't cleaned it since i left um and one of the days it was raining so you can see it does still look really good without cleaning it um for an extended period of time which i probably should clean it but <laughs> um i don't know it's kind of a double-edged sword it's kind of i don't know i i personally would not do another one just just because of i don't know the the cracking around the bottom and i i expect that in a couple more years i'm gonna end up having to i don't know maybe five more years is probably gonna end up like all those cracks and everything are gonna end up spreading up and the water spot on the other side if, if the water spot on the other side ends up like i don't know having a really bad day and it creeps up here or something uh instead of just staying in this area it's it's been staying in the same area for like the last year but if it starts creeping up then this whole truck is going to end up having to get stripped and then probably just painted with uh just painted with regular paint it's not the, the bed liner paint jobs aren't really as bad as everybody kind of says they are like they kind of they kind of make it out to be that if you do one that you're just gonna you're just gonna hate it which really i don't hate it but you know it because it because it, it, it looks like it doesn't scratch you know like it has some issues where it cracks and stuff like you know those those little spots that i showed you earlier but you can't scratch it so like i don't know i it's kind of going to be one of those things where like it's going to get to the point where it's going to look so bad that i'm just going to have to end up stripping it but until then it really still looks just as good as the day that I put it on there if you don't get super close and start picking it apart like I just did. Um, I don't know, it still looks good, it's still shiny, you know, it's it's really not all that bad after three years. But yeah, I probably wouldn't do another one. I probably, I don't, re I don't regret doing it, but I probably wouldn't do another one. It's just kind of like the Bronco, I'll probably, well actually the Bronco is just going to stay how it is, uh, minus the hood, I'll probably repaint the hood. Um, but I'm just gonna probably keep the Bronco how it is. Um, I'm definitely not gonna be doing bed liner on there. If I ever did do another bed liner paint job, I would either do black or like, I don't know, maybe red, but the orange, and I sure as hell would not do a white because white is gonna is gonna look so freaking bad once once like all the dirt and everything really gets in there. You don't see it a whole lot on the orange. On a black, you wouldn't see it at all. Um, and black bed liner paint jobs probably look freaking sweet. Um, <laughs> like, after a couple of years, because you don't notice all of the, uh, all the dirt and everything getting in there. I probably wouldn't do another bright color. If I was going to do another one, I'd do, I'd do a darker color. 
but yeah i don't know hopefully this video helped you guys out if you were if you were looking to uh if you're looking to do one for yourself um i'll kind of just give you i'll just give you guys that information you guys can make your own decision um for yourselves whether you want to do one or not and also i don't recommend doing a roll-on bed liner paint job like with a paint roller yeah that's uh not gonna end up giving you the desired look <laughs> it's gonna kind of look like shit but uh yeah that's uh that's the information i got for you today uh i'll let you guys kind of draw your own draw your own conclusions from that and uh yeah if this is the first video you've seen from me make sure to subscribe i guess and We'll see uh, when the Broncos wheels come back what those look like. Alrighty guys, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> Hi duckies.